Uh, hello everyone, so the other spot that I want to highlight for alternative ways of leveling is here in Hollowfall. Um, you have this weekly that you can do here for this Radiant Cache. Um, and you have this world quest for like um, getting the coffer keys from another Radiant Cache. Um, the key thing is, these mobs here, they used to be level 80 elites, but they now scale to your level. So if you're a geared low level, up to about like 78, you can AoE grind here. And I'll show that in a second. Um, and then here to the left is another spot with normal mobs that are bugged and they give more XP than they should, I think. Um, the key thing is, uh, when, when killing the mobs here, you get these items that you can use uh, to activate these flames. Um, and then it spawns additional quests that you can do, and you can complete the weekly here as well. But I'll just show you how much XP you get for just farming these elite keeps. I haven't done this in a while, so let's see if I die. Um, so you see I get a lot of these. Um, I should reload so that you can actually see how much XP per hour that was. Um, be more obvious. Uh, it's too far away. I can also show you this trinket swapping thing that I've been talking about. So I get out of combat, and then I basically take another on use, 30 seconds, and then I can use it in the next pool. Um, but you see again around 2 million. Obviously, I have some XP buffs which affects this. Hostile entity identified. Um, and the nice thing is, you can farm lots of these while leveling, and then on your alt, you basically have it stacks up to 200. Um, you can basically have 200 of these, and then each week you just come here, you light the flame, you get your cash, takes two minutes. Um, and you basically get an end game currency um, while you're leveling, and you're leveling very fast. Um, so if you're a mob grinder, this is a pretty good spot. Um, I haven't actually tried these guys here. Uh, we can give that a try as well. Um, I don't think they will be that good because you can't like do a huge AoE pull here. You give a lot of XP, but it's not more than the other ones. So. Um, and then the other spot that I wanted to highlight here in the area, because you'll see these haven't respawned yet, but you can go somewhere else, waiting for respawns. Um, again, the nice thing here is it's not a quest area on launch, so you can just go here uncontested. Um, maybe with the 10 people that watch my videos. Uh, but here, where there are some quests, these yellow mobs, they give 1000 XP and you one-shot them. Like, normal mobs give 500 XP. Right, so you basically this entire area. Uh, and these side side quests here in this area are also pretty good. Um, so that is worth doing. And then you can see me do them in a different route as well. Um, but you basically do these farm fields. And then when you're done here, you go back to the golems and you can farm those. Um, again, it's kind of... If you like this kind of thing, maybe it's useful. Or if you're after these Radiant Remnants, I actually think it's way easier to farm on an alt that you're leveling. Um, if they're semi-geared, uh, than on a fresh level 80. So it might save you some time as well. Um, these rares, they also scale to 70. So like when you need to kill two rares, for example, for one of these quests here, like this Defender of the Flame, um, you can do that extremely quickly. That's level 70. Um, and you can get this rapid stuff from it as well. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.